Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the video. Hi. Did you miss me? <laughs> Don't scream or I'll end this conversation quick. Do you remember me by any chance? Well, let me, uh... Let me... Refresh your memory. Do you remember about, uh, a year ago, where you visited a insane asylum, and you were scheduled to meet with a certain somebody? He was, uh, pale in the face, and had a great smile. Bingo. Now you remember me. Now you remember me. Wasn't it obvious, you know, with the big smile and whatnot? How did I escape? Well, I can tell you that. You see, after that little incident that happened back in that, uh, loony house there was a bomb that went off letting all sorts of crazy people escape but my cell was well perfectly fine and i wasn't gonna go anywhere because i was bound in a crazy suit but little that you know that you should have took that saying i said all that time ago, seriously. Because I did have friends on the other side. You see, I, um... I escaped by the help of a man. A very tall man at that. And he was, uh, well... Very nicely dressed. And he released me from that, uh, straitjacket. And he told me that uh, I had potential. Potential of becoming one of his, uh, pawns in his game. You want to know what I told him? Well, I'll tell you. I said thank you for releasing me. But I work alone. He told me, you're making a grave mistake turning down this opportunity. I told him to take that opportunity and shove it up his ass. Because I work alone. And everything I've done in the past has been all by myself. He told me very well, and then disappeared out of thin air. Like some type of genie or something. And so, I'm free. And I wanted to visit a few people before I went on my regular scheduled programming. I visited the uh, main officer who was running that place. And, uh, well, you could have... You, you probably should know how his reaction was. He was terrified of seeing me. Well, not a little before. I stabbed him in the chest about 20 times and then slit his throat. But that's not here or there. After that little thing happened, I went over to... Um, 
Oh, what was his name? I can't remember, but he's dead too. Um, now I'm here. And now I'm here with you. Because you actually had a conversation with me. You tried to get information from me. What was that information about? Hmm. I see. So you were trying to make me confess to the murders I've done. And also try to snitch on my uh, friends I have had on the other side when I was in that loony bin. Well, I mean, most of my friends are out now. Some of them got caught. Stupid bastards. But most of them are still free out there causing all sorts of uh, chaos and bloodshed. But you, oh, you, you're a little bit special to me. Because, well, since I killed off most of those people that I've met in that damned place, I'm keeping you alive. Why? Well, it's quite obvious. You're the perfect specimen for me to get back into those... Mm, military, or even just special areas, for me to, well, lead uh, not somewhat of an army, more of a revolution. Because I'm sick and tired of these crooked cops telling us what we can and cannot do. After all, in the laws of nature, only the strongest survive. Correct? All right. So, I'm keeping you alive for now. And we're going to use your special identifications to get us into uh, more than secretive places. Get information that I want of uh, different types of crooked cops, you see in the city. And, well, I'm going to send my colleagues over to their places and... <coughs> but I'm looking for a specific somebody. And I'm leaving his information to me. Because the way I want to deal with him... Well... You could say there's not going to be any trace of where he will be after I'm done with him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great plan, I know. It's a great plan. So, before I get that whole plan situated, we need a few things. Well, isn't it obvious? We need weapons, guns, um, protection, uh, military... Well, not military, just, like, police-grade uh, vests and whatnot. I have a few guns myself, but I'm more of a knife person, as I said in my medical records back in that facility. Do you still have those records, Detective... Oh, you were moved. You were moved to a different... Oh, okay, okay. Department. Hmm. Is that what they're calling it nowadays? Usually I would call that getting fired and replaced. But I digress. You still have identification to go through secret areas, right? Beautiful. Just like yourself. So. I'm going to leave you be. But just know. If you tell anyone. And I mean anyone. About my plans. I can promise you. 
that you're not going to be frowning like you are now. You're not going to be tearing up with clear tears. No, 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 no. After I'm done with you, if you even try to tell anyone about my plans, I will rip your intestines from your insides, slit your throat and watch it bleed like a waterfall, and you will be crying tears of blood. And I'll be writing my little catchphrase with your corpse. You got that? Good. I'll be seeing you soon, detective. Take care.